<laughs> oh man all right here we go salute to Knicks nation on this wednesday afternoon another matinee edition of Knicks fan tv live man lunchtime edition salute to everybody on the grind right now cp the franchise here special guest he is the kid mero let's go yeah. man let's get it cracking we're gonna talk Knicks. Go. whatever you guys want to talk about man call us up 657-383-1509 or hit us up on the Knicks Fan TV Discord. We see a couple people Bodega Hive in the chat. Let's go. Yeah. Salute to everybody in the chat. My guy Triple M in the building. Let's go, man. Let, let, let's get it cracking. Let's get it. My God, welcome, welcome, officially welcome to Knicks Fan TV. You know, you, no. you, know, you made a couple of appearances before, a couple of calls. You know what I'm yes. saying? Get, get you your know points saying? across. Because you know I'm locked in. You know I'm locked Absolutely. in with you. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? All day. So, yeah. started off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, first time, long time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. I but think yeah, the first now, call was 48, man, with the, with the man bun. That was the first one. Yo, part. it was cr- <laughs> And then we ended up getting him. See? That's the Meryl Damas, me, right there. For all, all, all my high right. members, me, that's the Meryl Damas. And it was crazy. And I, just, I remember saying that he runs like a penguin. Obi, Obi, that was Obi thing. <laughs> That Obi, Obi runs like a penguin, bro. Now we got Jacob. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't we know got what he Jacob. runs like. I haven't observed him yet. You know what I'm saying? Maybe man. a puffin, some other water, man. aquatic end. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, um, unbelievable, man. And now you got, well, now you got Obi going to Vegas, Cam going to Vegas. Yep. Grimes is tight. All the Knicks cast the ways. All the Knicks cast the ways is going to Vegas. <laughs> and Knicks is going to Boston. That's a consolation prize. Man, well, first of all, what do what, you think about this game last night, man? Yo, I mean, like, it was wild because, like, you know how we as Knicks fans, I know I'm, I'm not going to speak for us, you know what I mean, as a, as a Knicks yeah. nation, but a lot of us be dunking on Julius, man, yeah. a lot of the time, bro. Like, yo, it's his fault, B. Mm-hmm, yo, it's mm-hmm. the ISO Julius bullshit. Ah, ah, ah. Mm-hmm. Bro, he had, what, 40 and, tw- and f- like 15 last that night? That might have been the best like game like, I've seen Julius play ever, bro. Real he tall. was locked in, bro, diving for loose balls, AO. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, course. all that. So I was just like, man, it's not him. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the fuck. It was the numbers. B. like, I'm yeah. doing my like sports to look at. I'm just like, bro, 65 <laughs> percent from fi- from the field, 60 from three. That's Yo. that's re- that's crazy, bro. That's like sliders all the way, all the way. Up. That's video game shit. All the like, way. It's up. not gonna, Yeah, like you can't do that for like a series. You know what I'm saying? No. Like that's why no. this single game limit. Like you know what I mean? It was just I was like, oh, yeah. and then the point differential shit too. Like all that shit was just like I'm doing mad too much math. In my <laughs> too, head much math. <laughs> too much math. Too much math, man. Yeah, it, it was crazy. You know, I, especially after watching the first quarter, you're like, okay, they into a little groove. They they doing the thing, so on and so forth. But man, once Giannis and Dame started going in, Dame started going in like man. the end of the second quarter. I said, damn. Then Giannis Bro, started turning up in the third. Just damn. Your poison. And so when he hit that three, that three at halftime, yeah. I was like, my man, you know what's coming here. Yep. Like, why like send a quintuple team at this dude right now? <laughs> He's the only one that's gonna shoot this ball right now at the end of the half. You know that. That's why they got him. You man, know what I'm saying? Bro. Like, I always say it's like there's the guys in the NBA, there's like a handful of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like 20 the guys. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, the Knicks don't got a the guy. We got Brunson, we got Julius. I love him. Yeah. Absolute studs, bro, but not the guy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the like, like when we had Melo. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You knew, like, yo, Melo's getting that rock, bro. It's 15 seconds on the clock, fourth quarter. Melo's getting the ball. You know what's happening? Jab step, jab step, jab step. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Swish game. You know what I mean? But like, who's that guy now? Like, I like Brunson taking the last shot, but it's just mm. like, I don't know, man. There's something to be said about narratives and like you buying into a narrative of like. You know, they're talking about DeMar DeRozan trade yeah. talks now. Yeah. Like, how, how you he's, feel to about me, that? he's a guy. You, you like, you would like a DeRozan trade. I'm not mad. Mm. So here's my thing about like trades and the yeah. picks and whatever. We got, we got these picks. We got, you know, we got guys like Grimes, you know what I mean? Guys like Mitch who are really good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, sometimes I'm like, bro, am I, am I, am I hitting the Knicks coke too hard, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, am I like... <laughs> Mitchell Robinson is the top three center in the NBA. The, the, you know the losers like, of grandeur that only the blow can induce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, am I? Is, is it me? You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, DeRozan is definitely a dude, a bucket getter. Mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And it's just like, you, you just talk yourself out of trades, bro. You're like, damn, yeah, but he's too. He's similar to RJ. Yeah. He can't really shoot. That, that's clock how up the I pain. see it, bro. That, that I, I think I might be guilty of that too. 
You know what I mean? Always talking myself like, ah, he's not going to work. He's not going to work. Like, I feel that same way with DeRozan. You know what I mean? I don't even think a spider trade would work, to be completely honest. I just like him as a player to the point where I'm like, yo, bring him here. He's box office. But do do I see him and Brunson working both offensively and defensively? Probably not. But I just feel like they got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to pull the trigger on something and just see what happens, bro. Yeah. Like, if it don't work, it don't work. Yeah. If like To me, success is like, yo, yo, we get to the Eastern Conference Finals with this guy, this new guy, even if he leaves right after that season. Like, we get the Rosen and somehow we make it to the Eastern Conference Finals with, with him. Like, that to me is success, bro. Yeah. It's like, it's like, yo, this is gonna, I'm going to get, I'm going to get like, awesome. You know what Let's I mean? Let's go. Let's go. This is like a startup. You know what I'm saying? This is like that startup VC shit where it's just like, mm-hmm. yo, I want to just go supernova and win right now and then blow, just crash and burn in like yeah. two years versus like, yo, I want to see exp- I want to see, you know, steady <laughs> Gradual, growth. Gradual, yeah. Not, not nothing yeah. crazy, yeah. but steady growth yeah. year over year. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm, if I'm that guy, I'm inv- like I'm inv- I'm invested in Patagonia. Right, you know right, what I'm right. Saying? You like, want the growth stock, not not the value stock. You in the growth You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go I hard need or go that home. growth. Right, right, right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I need yeah. that. You know what I mean? Incremental, yeah. like nothing crazy. It's not gonna blow you away, but like, eventually you're gonna turn around and be like, "God damn, bro, we way better than we was five seasons ago." Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, and it's like, damn, we're competing for a championship. Like three seasons ago, that was this was not the case. But I feel like, yo, New Yorkers in general, bro, we just want it now. We want you know it. What I mean? We like, want it now. We want it you know now. What I'm saying? We want to stop getting made. Fun. I want to stop the fucking yo. Y'all haven't won X since 1970. 50 years. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Fifty years. Yo, years, give me man. one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still living off the Yankees in 09 and like the Giants. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that should happen. Like, it feels like it happened yesterday. Yeah. I mean, all the dudes are retired. Uh, like, when the season started, you knew where they were, right? You know, same team. They run in the back, they bring it in Dante. You knew where they were, you know what they need, but it, it makes you less patient when you see them lose to teams like like the Bucks and the Celtics, when you see that, like, we just not there, man. So it just, yes. it, you just get hyped. Like, uh, yo, when are we making a move? When are they going to pull the trigger on something? But it's just something, like, yo, man. like, I don't see, I don't see the name. I don't see Embiid. I don't see Giannis. I don't see SGA. I don't see Booker. That's I don't see shit. Luka Doncic. I don't see any of these guys, bro. The, the name, and that's what I'm saying. The name like, I gave people on, on Sunday was, uh, or, or one of these days I did last week, was, you know, LaMelo. It just, just, I, I just, you know, figure it out. Up, they're going to burn the bridge eventually. Like, LaVar's going to be like, yo, we out of here, man. This team stinks. You guys are a bunch of losers. <laughs> we out of here. You got to leave. <laughs> We're out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing is moving in this place. It's, yo, it's a dump. Saying, we out. Like, but it's like, yeah. Same shit you saying, bro. It's just like you gotta make a move, man. Yeah. All these picks, these picks, bro. Like I know we're like scarred, bro. You know scarred. what I'm saying from the scarred. from from the Steph Curry draft. Like there's so many. Yo, we should have, we could have. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. should have, could have, would have got this guy that we're like emotionally scarred, b. But it's just like, bro, let them picks go. Let them go, b. If they become something, they became something, yo. That's what you know what I mean. That's, yeah. It's a lotto ticket. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what it is until it's cash. But like with a guy like. When you got guys out there like Embiid, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like Spider, who are known quantities, bro. Like, you know what they bring. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you not going and getting this dude? Yeah. And then getting like, like a complimentary guy. You know what I mean? Like, if 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 you're worried, if you're worried about Spider on defense and Spider and Brunson backboard on defense, like bring in like a fuck bring in like some defensive dude, bro. Yeah. What's Andre yeah. Roberson doing right now, bro? Is he still in the league? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like just bring in some six eight dude to guard you like a good two. You know what I mean? Like but that's the thing. It's like, there's nobody out there. And I said this yesterday in the chat. It's like, there's nobody out there that's compelling me. Like, yo, go get this dude. You got to get this there's, dude. There's nobody there, man. There's nobody there. And, that, and that's Don't why. Don't be realistic. Yeah, there's nobody there. And, and that's why you got to hope that this year you're seeing like another level of development from RJ, which we, we were encouraged to see early in the season. Now it's been a little bit of a, of a, of a grind for him. You know what I mean? That fucked me up. Yeah. That fucked me all yeah. the way up. Because oh, oh, when he started, the way he started the season? Yeah, yeah. He he was looking incredible in the, in the beginning. Bro, I was just like, yes. I was like, this is the star, JB. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't look like a clown, you know what I'm saying? When I got all my kids in, in Barry jerseys <laughs> on Jersey Day at school, 
And I live in Franklin Lakes, so everybody here is like Phil Simms' cousin. You know what I'm saying? So they all got the the, Phil, the Giants classic, you know what I mean? LG classic Simms. starter joints. Yes, yeah, everything, <laughs> everything. Yep, yep. Absolutely, you know what I mean? man. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you got to hope that RJ bounces back. You know, Brunson is there, but I just thought he missed a lot of tough shots last night. A lot of shots yeah, yeah, yeah. that he would have usually hit. Right. Randall was on a and that's the thing. Though, man. We get we so used to hitting hit seeing him and Julius to get both right. hit like Im- impossible looking shots. B, where it's just like, bro, that's not gonna happen all the time. Yeah, it's not. You know gonna what happen I mean? Like there was there was like a graph. Uh, I don't remember if it was last season or the season before. Actually, it was a, the Atlanta Hawks series mm-hmm. season where Julius had the most diff- most made difficult uh, field goals. Yep, yep. Like he was shots. like off the chart. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I was just like, bro, like this is. An anomaly, B. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's an aberration, fam. Like, he's all the way out here. Like, you know. Right. And KD's, like, over here. So it's just like, fam, this is not going to happen next year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to come back down to earth. You know what I mean? But this, there's just so much, man, that, that like, the impatience is, is like, ah, it's consuming. It's, it's rising. You know what I'm saying? Rising, <laughs> like, it's just know? coming out. It's trying to come out like the Hulk of Bruce Banner, man. It's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's, it's, it's trying to get out. It's trying to get out, man. Salute to everybody in the chat. Once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. CP the Franchise, the Kid Mero, Matinee Lunchtime Edition of Knicks Fan TV, man. If you guys are at work right now, throw a hashtag grind in the chat. And call us up, man, 657-383-1509. Or hit us up on the KFTV Discord. If you're an angry, frustrated, disgruntled Knicks fan like we are today, call us up, man. Let, let us know why you're mad. <laughs> this is a safe space. This is the place for it's you. Good, man. Baby. Yeah. This is Nick's therapy session. This is you know Nick's therapy. Group Th- therapy. This is Nick's <laughs> therapy. And how about the how about the Grimes situation, man? Now, last night, he gets like one man. shot in the game. After he goes to the reporters, he says he's frustrated, man. He's he's not getting a rock. He's not feeling involved in the offense. What do you think about the, the Grimes situation as it stands right now? One shot. Uh, one shot. When he said that, bro, like that stat line was depressing me yeah like i just looked it was just like zero points one rebound i was like ah like fam what is going on like yeah and i get it i get it because tibbs is like fam tibbs is like i appreciate what he brought because he brought an identity to the knicks bro we did not know who the fuck we were before tibbs got here it was just like we were just yo nba team like you know what i mean like who are we? Who's the guy? Who's what's our identity? Are we a defensive team? Are we this or that? He came, he set a culture, he set an identity. I this motherfucker's rotations make me want to claw my eyeballs out. Man. <laughs> like it doesn't make any bro, and it low key, Grimes is right. He's like, fam, I'm scared to shoot. I get the yips because I know if I miss, yeah, you're gonna yank me, bro. That's what like, o- I'm not that, get, and that's I'm not what Obi said no last run. year. That's what Obi said last year. You know what I'm saying? It's just like this crazy, bro. Like, yeah. it's, bro, I'm 20 years old. Remember, where was your brain at when you were 20 years right, old? You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. it's 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 a lot to deal with. So it's just like, I get it, but I'm like, bro, you say that shit to the press, you trying to get shipped to Detroit, my nigga. Like, that's what that's what you're trying to do right now. Like, you're yeah. trying to get traded for like, you know what I mean? Like, Kate Cunningham's headband. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like a player to be named later, bag, like, of, bag of Wilson basketballs. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you can't be like. I get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like say that in the group chat. You, you know got, what I'm saying? Yeah, to your, to your you got to put it in the group chat, especially when you're not really doing nothing with the rock right now. That's the thing with Grimes where it was like last year, number one, he was shooting the ball way better. He shot close to 40% last year, but also he was doing more with the rock. Like you would see That's- him like attacking closeouts. Guys running him off the three point line. He's putting the ball on the floor. You see him make plays. He would try to find Mitch and those little wraparound Bro. passes. Like he was a lot more active in there the offense go. when the he key, got the ball. Word. A lot more active, but now it just seems like, you know, he's kind of lost right now. No confidence. And Tibbs clearly doesn't have confidence with him because, like he said, when he misses, you out. You put it in Dante. Out, bro. It's crazy, man. And it's just like, I remember, like, to me, like, you know, every every player got like a, like a yo, that's his moment. To me, that moment when he caught the knee on knee in the Heat Jimmy playoff Butler. series yeah. with Jimmy Butler and then still defended and still put the clamps on, on Jimmy, like, yeah. bro, that was like, that's, that's grimy season right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tough nose, defense, closing out, like you're saying, and then hitting the open three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's just like, 
I don't know if he's in a group chat, if his people's in a group chat being like, yo, bro, you got to hit do more than just hit the open three, bro. Get to the get to the rack, you know what I'm saying? Do this, yeah. do that. Why they're not running plays for you, bro? Why they're not running plays for you, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he, just... he got a battery to back, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah. fam, I don't know, man. I, it's Maybe it's because I'm not a professional hooper, but I'm just like, dog, you know, I, of course, there's other things that come into play. Like, yo, your contracts, yeah. all that type of stuff, how much money you make. But it's just like, man, fam, if we winning, I'm good. Like, if all you need me to do is get 15 rebounds a game, I got you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to win a chip. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like, I feel like a lot of people don't, like, not a lot of people, but, like, players, it doesn't like, kind of sink in. It's just like, bro, if you win. Did we... You're going to get, you know what I mean? Like, looks. You're going to get, yeah. you know, a, a max contract or whatever because of what you did. You know what I mean? In the playoffs. They this team wants you. They're gonna overpay for you because you average eighteen rebounds. I right, you're not doing nothing else, but you averaging an obscene amount of offensive rebounds. So this team that needs that is gonna come over. Got to find you. value. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Got like Rudy, look at Rudy, Rudy Gobert is gonna is rich forever. Like Rick Ross. Yeah. yeah. Like what does he do except speak French? You know what I'm saying? And staying in the paint. <laughs> You feel me being a paint like ooh, ooh la la like what do you, mean? Bon, bon. you know what I'm saying like just waving his arms like and he's rich so it's just like fam you could be a guy like that and find you know what I'm saying your situation you don't yeah. gotta be the guy you know what I mean because like I said there's only like twenty the guys in the whole NBA everybody can't be that guy you gotta be a star in your role it's a tough situation I don't know yep. like you think because a lot of fans want to see him go to the bench a lot of fans want to see DiVincenzo in there. What do you think about that? I mean, I, at this point, it might be the Try best it. course. It might be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I loved the continuity. Like, I love the continuity. I said, I, I was talking greasy about Tim's rotations earlier. Yeah. But it's like, I hate the non-flexibility. I like the continuity. I hate the non-flexibility. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, bro, like, you're not bringing the heat, my G. Like, throw Dante in there. And see yeah. what happens, bro. He went crazy the other night. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. water. You know what I'm saying? So give that a shot. Maybe. Yeah. Here's a, cr a crazy idea. Evan Fournier, who has the Knicks record for most made three-point field goals, mm. maybe you give him some run. You know what I'm saying? Like, have him stay in the corner because that's literally all he's capable of doing. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. he can't play defense. Have him out there. Yo, bro, just hit the open three, bro. That's yeah. all I need you to do. And he could do it. That, see, but it's just like... That's the thing with Tibbs. So, you know, other coaches will tinker with rotations they'll throw a guy in there just for the night just to see hey let me see let me see what's going on like he'll do that they'll do that with Tibbs he the the moves that he makes he's trying to look for like long-term change you know what I'm saying so that's why he'd be like oh well after like 20 games I gotta evaluate I gotta see I gotta see how the whole group is operating he doesn't like, just man. he doesn't yeah, just throw those season. tinkers like, man yeah yeah he does like, he doesn't do that man he, he don't do and that's what drives me nuts about him, B. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just no imagination, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, like, offensively, no imagination. Rotation-wise, no imagination. Low, like, yo, let me try this with this and see what happens. We might get cooked on defense, but we might score better. We, the ball might move better. Like, bro, I'm a, just a, a 40-year-old peewee football coach. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I'm coming up with this shit. Like, yeah, you, yeah. Bro, you've been in the, you, you're a coach of the year. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dog. Like, get it together. For sure, man. Salute to everybody in the chat. Once again, hit that thumbs up button for your boys. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Subscribe to the channel. CP the franchise. Right. The Kid Mero on the ones and twos. Talking Knicks. We're going to get to the calls in a second. Uh, salute to everybody in the grind, man. Blood of the Pants. A salute in the chat. King Katona, 14. Vaughn Sage. Salute Billy R, 23. Franchise channel member. Salute my guy, Eric L. Beats. Michael yep. Quaranti. Salute. Big surge. Hey, yeah, my man Stacks in the building. Big surge in the chat says, Mad Love for Mero. He reminds me of every cat I grew up with in Brooklyn, Bushwick. Salute, salute. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> old Bushwick, old Bushwick. Old Bushwick. <laughs> Hector Gaston. Yeah, old Bushwick. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, I'm not riding the tall bikes. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's Joey Stiletto TV. Salute. All right, man. So we got everybody in here in the lunchtime grind. Uh, Triple M on the Discord. Go ahead and unmute your mic. My guy, Triple M in the building. You're que lo que, que lo que, man. Yep. Shout out to the yep. kid Mero, and yes, that's sir. my that's my guy, man. When I used to be on that BX19 on my way to Cardinal Hayes High School, uh, guy <laughs> really, and, and, really looked up and, to him. And speak, speaking <laughs> of Cardinal speaking Hayes, of Cardinal somebody Hayes, hit me up. They they just won something, right? 
Yeah, they just won the championship, man. We invested mm. in Cardinal mm. Hayes. They closed down Rice High School. Everybody went to Hayes to play basketball, but they won the football. So we really invested right now, man. Shout out to Cardinal Hayes and shout out to Ian Jackson coming out of Cardinal Hayes pretty soon. No MVP. doubt. Yeah, but I want to push back a little bit on Merrill, man. He's talking mm. like when I'm on 149 right there on the block with, with the guys. And he's just saying trade picks, trade everything. Merrill, calm down, man. It's been a long time since we've seen the Lance Thomas and the Lexi Schwede <laughs> other days. Like, I'm Spend actually high. enjoying it. Listen, this is a tough, you know, we're, we're far from the Bucks and stuff like that. But I think that the Knicks, we just need that. We need that guy. We all need, we all know we need that guy. But it's pretty annoying every time, you know, TNT is saying, like, Bancaro is already better than all these Knicks players or, mm. or whatever he said. Oh, Tyrese Halliburton, man. Like, I don't want to make a bad trade for Carl Anthony Towns. When I'm on the block, I'm always telling the guys that. Merrill is over here talking that stuff too. Merrill, calm down. Calm <laughs> down. But keep doing your thing with Carmelo, man. That's pretty dope. See you right there, Corsa, man. I can't wait to link up. CP, thanks for giving us this platform yes, sir. to talk to yes, guys sir. like Merrill, man. Shout out to y'all. Appreciate Ab you, man. Absolutely, man. That's why we're here. So to my guy, Triple M in the building. He's yeah. always in the building, man. You'll, you'll see. You'll catch him at MSG if you haven't already, man, for sure. Oh, yeah, nah. Holly, I want your boy. I'm, yeah. Yo, listen, I'm, I'm going to be there a lot more frequently now. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? <laughs> yeah, so salute, yeah, to, nah, salute man. to Triple it's M, like, man. Man, tri salute listen, to Triple listen, M. Trip, right? Like, I agree and I disagree. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it, like, yes, we are we are far away from the Alexi Sved, Lance Thomas days, but fam, like that's that's to listen. Perception is reality. Be like, we've been Knicks fans for so long that we think that any other team in the league would have put Alexi Sved and Lance Thomas on the floor at the same time. No <laughs> other team in the league would have did that, B. Not the Hornets, not the not the Pelicans, bro. Not the Jets. Nobody, bro. And we did that shit for a whole season, bro. We had Langston Galloway out there, sir. You know what I'm saying? Some, so it's some just dark like... days. Some dark days, bro. Oh, come on, man. Some dark Lou days. Lou Amundsen getting big minutes, Lou man. Lou Amundsen with the man Nasty. bun. With the man <laughs> bun. I ran into... I saw Lou at uh, at Summer League, matter of fact. I saw Lou at Summer League. Just, That's just chilling. Great guy. Yeah, just Great cool. Him. Just cool. Him. Solo dolo. Just just doing his own thing. Just minding his business, man. Staying out the way. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, we, like yes, there, there comes a time when you got to just pull the trigger, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Man, like, you know? Like, it's understandable, man. It, it, it's it's call understandable. My you know, should I get off the pot, bro? Like, <laughs> right, right. This this was... um. So, to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that like button, hit the share button, subscribe to the channel. This is what uh, this is what Triple M was referring to. It was a comment by Kenny Smith on Inside the NBA. Um, I'm going to play it for you right now. Let, let's react to it. And tell, tell me what you think. This is, this is Kenny Smith, courtesy of the NBA, on the, on the state of the Knicks right now. Here he is. This is why the Knicks are going to stay in the middle. Every game that they play, they always have the second best player. You play Boston, you got the second or third best player. You play Orlando with Ben Carroll. They don't have a player that's better than Ben Carroll. Milwaukee, we know they don't. Philadelphia, they don't. The Indiana Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton is the best player on the floor, if you say that. Correct. If you play the Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler is the best player on the floor. You play the Cleveland Cavaliers, you have Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. You don't have the best player on the floor no night. Now, they can play better than you, but they are not walking into the gym and saying, you have no That's margin for error. She thoughts on that, bro? And it's, yo, it's crazy because I wholeheartedly agree, bro. Like, it's crazy that I'm agreeing. And like, Kenny, I like Kenny because Kenny will deliver yes. constructive He criticism. provides like the Chuck. balance between Shaq and Chuck. Just be like, the Knicks are yes. trash, the Knicks are trash. Knicks are trash. Exactly. exactly. Trash. Absolutely. Bro, yeah. they're all trash. Look, that's why I said it. Knicks are trash. See? Yeah, yeah. Look. <laughs> I'm just like, man, get the fuck out of here, man. That's not analysis. <laughs> That's anal issues, Ernie, 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 let, me Ernie. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Ernie. Let me tell you something, Ernie. Uh, let me tell you something, Ernie. The Knickerbockers have been a uh, garbage franchise since, since I ate last ate my last snowball from Hostess, and that was in 1998. I'm lying. That was last night. But the Knicks, point still stands, the Knicks are terrible. That's and I'm it. just like, bro, you what the fuck? That, like, that's the analysis, man. That's the analysis, man. Shaq is, and then Shaq is just like, well, oh, Ernie, you know, Ernie. <laughs> Uh, Charles, Charles is right. Uh, they're, they're not going anywhere this year, man. Uh, 
<laughs> and then he started crying. He's like, sad, sad, because you know Pat Ewing. <laughs> yeah, legend, right, right, one right. One of my heroes. He, he, <laughs> he will like, respect Pat. He will respect yeah. Pat. He'll put some respect on 33's name. That's why I still rock with Shaq. But after that, you could throw all the analysis all out downhill, the window, bro. Man. Absolutely. But now I agree with Kenny, man. Like, when we walk into the gym, we don't have the guy. Like, going back to the beginning of the convo, we don't have the guy. Like, when you yeah. walk, like he just said, bro, even the magic, fam. That's crazy. Yeah. The Orlando yeah. Magic, who are who are good, by the way, but like historically not good, an unserious franchise, got Paolo Banquero. Now he comes in the mix, and it's just like, bro, this is the best guy in the gym right now. Period. Yeah. Like when the yeah. Knicks pull up, like Denver, Jokic, Murray. You know what I'm saying? Like everywhere you go, B, it's like, fam, like it's it's giving like the, it's giving me bad. Juju about like the nineties Knicks because the nineties Knicks it was Pat and John. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. Ninety percent of the time. Like it was Pat and a guy who yeah. wasn't really a guy. That that's you know why I, I mean? said they, they gotta get brought to help, bro. So he's gonna be looking like Pat with the ice bags on his knees in a couple of years. You know what man. I'm saying? And, 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 just over and, his whole body. And don't let him get that bad because he's gonna make double what he's making right now. That's the best contract in the league. So when he you gets that know. fifty them fifty bags, because you know it's going up, it's like fifty sixty right now. So yep. in two years, when he gets their fifty bags, boy oh boy, the pressure's gonna be through the roof. So Bro. you better hope they got a team together. There's gonna be a lot of pressure on them. And that's the shit, man. And like we were saying earlier, bro, there's nobody like unless somebody like unless the tournament this year pops off, it's just like, yo, this guy's incredible. Like, yeah. who's this guy? This sleeper, like, you know what I mean? Like six foot eight, wing defender, you know what I mean? Can shoot the three, can, like What's going to happen? But it's yeah. just like, yeah, it's true, bro. Until we get the the best player in the arena at any given, you know what I'm saying, any given uh, game, it's going to be kind of, not mid, because mid is like, I, I shout out to my man, uh, Foss, you know what I'm saying, Big Foss, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, he was like, yo, mid is used incorrectly because mid is like, yo, you know, it gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? It's not the best, but it gets the job done. So I will say the Knicks will remain mid. Cause they, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's bro, it's it's so up and down. Like some yeah. some days you look at them and the 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 energy, the body language is like, yo, this is an incredible team. They are contenders. And then sometimes you look at them and you're like, who is this, bro? Is this like the the it's, it's, B team? It's, it's, it's like, up and down. But but that's the result of not having a guy. Like I think. Some Knicks fans kind of took offense, when, especially when Kenny bought the Boncaro stuff up because they're saying, you know, Brunson is a better player. And even Randall, to me, I think they're still better players. Pablo probably has a better ceiling than those guys. He's, oh, he's yeah. looking incredible. He's still, young. he's still mad young. But at the present time, I think they're better. So I think Knicks fans took took Kenny. Uh, uh, they were insulted a little bit. They insulted, like from yeah, Goodfellas, yeah. they insulted him a little bit. But in the grand scheme of things, from what he said, he's right. They don't have the guy yet. They don't have the guy that could make them a, a legitimate title contender. That is what they're searching for. That's what all 30 teams are searching for. It's not easy to get. There's only nah, a couple. Man. I mean, look at what look at what LeBron James is doing last night, bro. Damn near triple-double. The most minutes on the court. The best player on the court. 39 years old. Like, Man, we're the same age. We're, we're the look same at me. Age. Yo, if, I, if I get up from this chair too fast, CP, I'm going to throw my back out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to get hurt. ACL is out of there. We end this broadcast yeah. is over if I stand up too fast. Achilles you tweet. Yo. I'm going to look like homie that shot the half court at the Lakers Yo. game, bro, and just pop his Achilles. Yo, like. funny, funny thing. What, what, what I do post game, because post game will go like an hour and a half sometimes. You know, sometimes we'll, 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 it'll be a yeah, little bit extended. Yo, as soon as I wrap up, I tell Al, like, yo, I got to go. But I got to get out this chair. I feel like I can't move. <laughs> you got to stretch your hamstrings. I got to stretch. <laughs> Come on, I got I to get away from this chair, man. I've been locked we in, man. We your Nick fans. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Arthritis is kicking in. I got to go. I got to go, man. We'll talk tomorrow, man. Yeah, Yo. it, it's tough. But no, nah, I agree with you, bro. Like, I think I think it's a little crazy to say, like, yo, Paolo Banquero is better than Julius Randle when it's like, bro, he j was just on an all-NBA team. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't say that. Like, but ag agree that the ceiling is higher, bro. And if you get Paolo versus, you know what I mean, like Julius right now, in two years, you'll be better off. You know what I'm saying? Like, in one yeah. season or two seasons, you'll be better off. But it's just like, man... <sighs> Those guys, they're called generational because they are generational. That you know is saying? correct. They don't come around all the time, and you know, and the and the and the one knock on the Knicks, like still, I'm like I'm I'm coming out of it a little bit, but mm -hmm. like I'm still seeing it, 
is is player development, bro. Mm. It's getting a, a, a dude from the draft and turning him into a guy. Jokic did not come. Bro, you, yeah, we all know the story about Jokic. They yeah, had, was yeah. playing the Taco Bell commercial when he got drafted. Like, he wasn't even in. Like, they didn't even give him no nothing. Bro's MVP two times. You know what I mean? So that's like, bro, that's player development. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who what the fuck the Nuggets is doing over there, but they, yeah. you know what I mean? They're making it happen. With a dude from Serbia and a dude from Canada, true deep. Uh, it's, it's it's and and they got like, I mean, when you talk about roster construction, they have it all. They got size, they got athleticism, they got shooting, defense they got point guard play, they got defense. You know that that's the perfect built team, the most perfect built team. And, 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 and I feel and, like that's what the Knicks have. I feel like the Knicks are the Jets, bro, right now. <laughs> like your defense is incredible. Your offense would be incredible if you had a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you had even a, a a good quarterback, not a great, a good quarterback, y'all would be incredible. Because it's just like, yo, the, that's the thing. It's just like, they don't have a guy. And when I say a guy, I just mean somebody that the team is just like, all right, we're going to, we're looking at you right now. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, and and that person, whoever that is, is just like, yo, I got this. Yeah. Right. That's my Can't, role yeah. on this team. Yeah. 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 When everybody, everything's shaky, everything's, everybody's nervous. Yo, what are we doing? Ah, yo, everybody, sh- yo, calm right. down. I got this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or we yeah. got this, but I'm a lead job. True indeed. True indeed, man. You know? Salute to Kane Marco in the building. $20 franchise. Oh, franchise channel member sends a $20 super chat. Says shouts yeah. to CP and the whole KFTV crew. Uh, you keep doing it bigger and bigger. I love it. Kenny Smith, Wyland, what's up, Mero? I love you, but you tripping, bro. Keep Cat right where he's at. Hashtag <laughs> Kings Bridge up. Salute to K. Marco, man. Salute to, salute to K. Bridge. Marco. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, once again, salute to everybody in the chat. Hit that thumbs up button for your boy CP and Mero on the afternoon edition, matinee edition of Knicks Fan TV. Once again, man, remember that this show is sponsored by our guys at Manscaped, fellas. Yup, Manscaped. It's holiday time, and the season for a fresh cut is finally here with our sponsors of today's show. Manscaped, the leaders in Below the Waist Grooming, have just launched their fifth-generation performance package to help you avoid another silent night in the bedroom this year. Take care of your special snowflake with the lawnmower 5.0 and watch your South Pole shine like never before. Get the best stocking stuffer of all by going to manscaped.com. Use promo code KFTV, like always, for 20% off plus free shipping. Mrs. Claus will thank you later. No testimonials. Go out and get that, man. Lawnmower 4.0. No the, the Ferrari of ball bag trimmers. Yo, facts, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Listen, yeah. you're more li- you're more likely to get toppy. Yeah. If you're if you're if you're freshly shorn. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. You know it. what I mean? Yeah. It's like when you fishing, you know what I'm saying, and you pull the fish out, and it's like a big <laughs> ass, like, and you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's the feeling, that's the emotion Shorty's gonna feel. You know what I mean? When you pull that joint out, as opposed to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You no, know, like, damn, bro. Like, why? Yo, a puke flew out, b. Like, this dander. <laughs> I got dander on your balls. There's dander all all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) Listen to me. I've been married a long time, bro. (laughs) Word to the wise. Word to the wise. Oh, my God. KFTV after dark. Triple M, absolutely. At, at 12 o'clock, man. That's how we do it. Kid Barrow is in the building, man. Happy to have him on gang. here. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Uh, well, what's been your thoughts on, you know, the whole tournament of, overall, man? Because I felt like the quarterfinals, knockout stage, and the last night of group play, I thought it turned up. Yeah, bro. It turned up. It's like, you know, like, um, I said... Like yo, Mello called it. Shout out to Mello. Shout out yeah. to, yo, shout out to seven PM in Brooklyn. Absolutely. You know and yeah, let's, let's talk about seven PM in Brooklyn. We'll, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mello said in the trailer that dropped yesterday, he was just like, "Yo, it's not the Larry O'Brien. It's like the Gary <laughs> it's the O'Brien. Gary. You know what I'm saying? Like Gary. It's, it's still like a, you know what I mean? Like yeah. yo, we won some, and it's it, bro for the Knicks that would have been huge, b. You know what I mean? That would have been yeah. like a huge confidence booster. You know what I'm saying? Going into All Star and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like that it's not, you know, like crazy, like too like invasive, where it's just like, yo, we gotta it's not like a play like a playoff thing where it's like, yeah, yo, you gotta play these dudes a five game series or whatever. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. are we gonna we gotta shut down the season and whatever. It still feels like the season is going on. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's other storylines. 
going on. But like, do y'all want to make money, bro? Like, right, right. I feel like yo, recipes. David Stern. David Stern would have been on the phone <laughs> in the uh, third yeah. quarter last yeah, night. Like, yo, yeah. listen, y'all are not about to do this. Yeah, yeah. Like, listen, the Knicks are gonna play the Pacers. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. The Knicks are going to play the Pacers. We Make need Obi and Julius in Vegas, the clash of all clashes. Halliburton versus Brunson shooting the fair one. Come Neutral on. court. I needed Ju- to see, I needed to see that, Obi gives bro. us a 40 burger. You know I, need, I like, needed to see that. That's another reason I was tight about last night. So I wanted to see that rematch early. I mean, on. they come to the Garden later on this year, but I want to see that rematch early, man, with the way the Pacers are playing. Obi's cooking. Julius is cooking. Halliburton, Brunson cooking. That would have been it. That would have been man. it, man. Peak basketball, peak, fam. Peak. Yeah. Um, I, I, You know, at first I was like, yo, this ain't going to work. This, this isn't European soccer. It's not going to work. I was locked in, bro. From from the beginning yeah. to, to the end, I was locked in. I did like the court ideas. I'm sure it'll get better as years progress. Oh, I'll make yeah. some nicer ones. I thought the Pacers probably had the best one and the best jerseys. They I did. liked it. Sadly. Yeah, sadly. It hurts sadly. me to say. <laughs> yeah, S- sadly, man. But but look, I, I think their, their their mission was accomplished in terms of like when you were watching these games last night and on t- and on Monday, it didn't feel like a regular season game. Like you watch that ah, Pacers game, man. that felt like a playoff game, playoff atmosphere. Pacers Yo. were rising to the occasion. Fans was going crazy. Noise. Yep. Noise. The single elimination factor of it. I mean, both teams going going at it. I, I yeah, thought I thought it was great, man. It's a great look for big, the big like man. tournament, like NCAA, NFL yeah, yeah. playoff vibe, like win or go home, like that. That should have you like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the edge yeah. of your seat, bro. Like, yeah, it's a good man, idea. That that energy mid season for the Knicks. That was you know, nice. <laughs> that was good. It was good. <laughs> it was a good breakup. It was a good breakup. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that next season will take you on a roller coaster, boy. So it, it, was, it was a good breakup to see if we could, you know, get get to something and, and put Whoa, a, a, a little banner up, man. Go get that chip. But it seemed like it's tailor made for LeBron, bro. Did you see that? Did you see that phantom call that they gave him last night? Yo, bro, he, bro. listen. He's Bron, dog. That's Bron. <laughs> That's yeah, Brian. Bro. I'm watching Brian this like, game yeah, like, bro, Brian. they said Brian called timeout. Nobody even had the ball. The ball was rolling out of bounds. It was like, oh, Brian called timeout. They got it. Brian Lakers. Called timeout, yeah. Lakers. Brian called timeout. <laughs> he, had, he thought he was, he, he was thinking about doing <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? The ref knew. He's so smart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, he's anticipating. So aware. He's anticipating. <laughs> like, nah, Brian's going to call timeout. The, the Lakers got the ball. <laughs> wow, bro. I said, bro, nah, man, the fix is in. And they're not even bro, hiding it. Bro, it is crazy. You they're not even hiding fix it. it to have... Come on, man. Like <laughs> I, like I said, David Stern would have had the Knicks go through the paces to see Brian and the Lakers. Yep, yep, you know absolutely. Like... <laughs> absolutely. I said, bro, they are not even trying to hide the fix right now to get LeBron to, <laughs> to Vegas, man. Not Come even trying to hide it, bro. 40. That man is 40, 40. bro. 40. Put, dropping 40, dropping 40. That's crazy. Uh, unbelievable, man. I, I couldn't even, believe bro, it. I'm not even doing that over at at, at rec basketball. Be like, I'm... I, I, can't, I can't believe it. Every time you watch this guy, man, it's like, and it's like, you know, th- that next generational talent like that, that like really dominated the league. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know who that next person is going to be. They might not be in the league yet. They might not, bro. They might not, like you said, they might not be here yet. It might be a combo of dudes. Like before Jordan, yeah. it was like Magic yeah. and Bird. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they might have to go back to some shit like that. Cause yo, after Jordan fam, after Kobe, rest in peace, like we have never, and I, I forgot who said it. Like it was like some, I don't know if it was Kenny Smith or mm. somebody, so, or like some player was like, yo fam, like we, get, oh, it was KG. He was like, yo, we get so caught up in like the pet, like the, the old school, like the OGs. That like we don't give these dudes credit right now. Like, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, though, Le- like the fan. What LeBron is doing right now is unprecedented. Insane. Bro. Like insane. No, bro. like insane. And then you got other guys in the league that are just going crazy, bro. Like, yeah. and it's 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 all great for basketball. You know what I mean? But it's like you gotta love it. You gotta accept it. You can't just be like, ah, man. Ah, you gotta embrace weak, it, yo. man. You gotta embrace yeah. it. You can't, you can't be oh, get off my lawnish with, with it, man. You yeah. know what I mean? I, oh, I tend yo, to be that 140 way. points. Not bad. Ain't no defense. Day. Ain't like, no actually, defense in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, actually, fam, like, did you like ask your uncle? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right, they was right. dropping like 198 points a game back then. Like uh, I I'm real, man. Um 7 p.m. to Brooklyn. 7 p.m. to Brooklyn. Let, let's talk about it. The the new yes. podcast, new production from Wave Sports. They killing the game. The Kid Mero, our guy Carmelo Anthony debuts tomorrow. 
Let's talk about it, man. Tell the people about 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, man. I'm looking forward to it. Yo, man, it's it's such a dope show because it's like, you know, there's a lot of like player fan, you know what I mean? Like situations out there, but it's just like, you know, no shots, but it'd be like a, a player and like random dude. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't random dude. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm about. I'm about my Nick shit. I'm about my, I've been doing the talk show thing for like Absolutely. not damn near a decade plus. So like, you know, I'm a seasoned vet in that yeah. regard. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Melo's a seasoned vet was in 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 a, in a hoop regard with like so much insight, bro. Like, I can't wait for y'all to see this shit, bro, because it's a different Melo, B. Mm. Like, it's not like, from, it's from, not like, yeah. like, from the preview, it looked like it, man. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he, yeah. he's loose. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just a it's chilling with your man's talking about the NBA, what's going on in the league, culture surrounding it. You know what I mean? Because it's not just straight basketball. Right, it's like right. basketball and like yo, you know what I mean? Like music, yeah, everything that's yeah. around. Because the, the NBA is the culture is moving the culture. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I'm saying? Like NBA is the coolest league in the by world far. by far. Mm -hmm, See, it's not mm -hmm. even close. You know what I'm saying? Like the tunnel walks, everything, the the fashion, everything they do, the music. Everything they the NBA does, other leagues copy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, you know, getting that insight from the dude that was drip checking the tunnel. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But then has the the advantage of like I say, like I'm 40. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm an elder millennial. I yeah, saw the yeah. beginning of the internet where it was just like, you know what I mean? Like AOL chat rooms. You've to got now, mail. Where, yeah. <laughs> from you Them got three mail. Steps, like, Yo. Boy, you was waiting on that third step. Make sure your modem like, was working proper, like. All right, I'm in there. Jump into the chat room. ASL, <laughs> ASL, what's good? You know what I mean? Late night creeping on the joints. You know what I'm saying? Late <laughs> night. ASL, what's good? Where you at? ASL, what's good? What's good? Yo, BX, BX, what's good? BX, what's good? In the Bronx chat like, yo, don't rob me, shorty. I hope you're really a woman. <laughs> I hope it's not your brother that set me up to get robbed. And yo, it's crazy because you had to scan your pictures back then, bro. That's it wasn't right, just like, right. yo, I'm going to send you a flick. It was yeah. like, yo. I'm going to put this photo in this machine. <laughs> I'm going to edit this joint. Make sure there's I'm no folds in there. Oh, man, I got to do that over. I need to clean. I need to clean. <laughs> I need to clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I say that to say this. Melo has a similar advantage in basketball term terms where he had – because, yo, the league under David Stern and the league under Adam Silver – it's like, you know, it's not night and day, but it's very different. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't think Stern is is doing, like, a very kind of Euro-style in-season tournament with point differentials and, mm -hmm. and shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. he was more about just growing the game and growing stars. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And like, you know, shit like that. But um, him having that, like, that both sides. Yeah, playing, like, inside, playing under bro, both regimes, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> playing under both regimes, like. You know, getting hell from like you know Stern earlier. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he can speak to so many different like issues, topics. You know what I mean? That it's just it's so ill. Like, and as a fan, bro, I feel like shit. Like this shit is a dream come true for me because it's like yo, it's a front row seat with one of the one of your you know what I mean? Like your favorite franchise's best players of all time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and bro, and he's he's a Nick for real. Like Absolutely. you know what I mean? Like yeah, he's yeah. He, he's like yo. You know we say once in a go it's Nick, but Melo's like a Nick. Like, yeah. fam. Like I feel like by the time this show is in like episode five, like we gonna forget he was on a nugget. <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 you know I mean? like for sure, yeah. bro. But yeah. it's, it's it's dope. It's dope. It's raw. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's 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 casual, but. But for real, you know what yeah, I mean. You're yeah. gonna get some real shit Authenticity, out of it. Authenticity, man. That that's yeah, what you bring. That's not, what he brings, not, man. You feel me? And it's like, and it it's not. It's never gonna be boring. Right, right. I can promise you that. You right. know what I mean? Like, it's never gonna be dry. It's always gonna be lit. And yeah. like, man, like, I don't need to say too much. You're like, yeah, I know what I do. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You can, you can just go on YouTube and type in the kid, bro. Yeah, you know what's up with me? Absolutely. And then you know, add, add mellow to God, man. It's just like. Yeah, making sort of vinegar, man. It's gonna bubble. And, and look, with the way production, I mean, they got the number one sports podcast in the game right now with the Kelsey brothers. I think they oh. got like three in the top ten oh. uh, podcast, podcast P. P. So yeah, Kelsey, New yeah. Heights. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So and that, now, that's got to be incredible so partnership for you, baby. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like they know what they're doing, man. They're, they're super smart. Shout out to Pierce, shout out to Tunde, shout out to EJ. You know what I'm saying? The whole gang. You know they're they know what they're doing, man. Like they know how, like you know how to get the most. You know what I mean? Out yeah. of everything, you know, events, situations, you know what I mean? Cross promoting stuff like mm -hmm. 
bunch of smart brothers over there, man. Like salute to them. That's dope. Uh, let the people know where they could where they could find you. Um, it'll be you have YouTube platform and and all podcasts, everything, social all media, seven p.m. to Brooklyn, right? All that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Visuals go hit hit up YouTube, the audio hit up Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You know what I'm saying? You know, right after you download Victory Light, you know what I'm saying? Get get on that. You know what I'm saying? And bro, it's amazing, be absolutely. Amazing. I'm, I'm looking at cuts now. I'm not gonna leak nothing. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I was, yeah. I was, I had, I was about to be like, yo, I'm gonna leak. I'm gonna, it's my man, see people. But I leak something. But I was just like, yo, now you know you what? You should have set me a joint, man. You should have like set me a joint. joint. I like yeah. this joint. <laughs> you should have set me a joint. We could have premiered it right here, man. We could have premiered yeah. a new cut on there. But now nah, we'll, we'll be yeah. ready for tomorrow. Absolutely looking forward to it. Melo's one of my favorite plays of all time. You one of my bro. favorite people, man. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um. You know, since since going solo, a lot of doors have been opening up for you, man. We we talked about the MLB experience. You you tapped in there. You were doing the Formula One coverage. I mean, what's that journey been like from going solo to now? Like, how do you kind of reflect on everything that's that's going on? It's dope because you know when you're when you're in a duo, you you know you you know for for better or for worse, you you kind of beholden to to your partners. You know what I mean? Your comedy your business partner, comedy partner, whatever they are you got to take them into account. You know what I'm saying? Like, and be like, all right, yo, this is not really your lane. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got to compromise and meet somewhere in the middle. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I always wanted to jump into sports with both feet. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you know, fam, you already know about yeah, like, classic, yeah. yo, the Knicks covered so they won. From the dark days of Alexi Stead and, and Lance <laughs> Thomas, when the Lions was 25 and a half, you know what I mean? Knicks is 20 point underdogs. I'm like, listen, we're going to put up a fight today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're going to put up a fight today. We're only going to lose by 12. The Cole so Aldridge days, man. Oh, <laughs> God. Damn. So my mantra used to be the Knicks covered, so they won. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I go back. So, like, you know, I I, I, I was early on, like, you know, the DraftKings stuff and, like, all, yeah. the, all the betting stuff and, like, the, you know, all that. Because it's, you know, something I do in my spare time. So, you know, now get an opportunity to actually do that, you know what I mean? And, and like, and not worry about like, oh, bro, like, how, are you good? Like, yeah, how do you feel yeah, about this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's like, you know, it's like when my wife leaves. You know what I'm saying? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm at the crib. You know what I mean? Watch Pino on the laptop with the sound on. You know what I mean? Just go crazy, eating shit, leaving rappers out. You know what I mean? Just like free ball ah. and doing whatever. Man. Yeah, free ball, crib, like risky business, bro. Like <laughs> yeah. sliding around the crib in socks with no drawers on. Like yeah. ah, <laughs> absolutely, man. Well, listen, man. Sometimes changes for the better, man. It is growth oh, yeah. and it's on with it upward, man. You've been killing the game. Hopefully, this ain't the the, the last time we need you back on here for these matinee edition oh, joints, man. Bro. Absolutely enjoyed it, bro. I'm locked in. How at me. Yes, sir. Absolutely, and and we'll be locked in Thursday, 7 p.m. to Brooklyn. The Kid Mero, Carmelo yeah. Anthony, our guy. Man, Mero, definitely appreciate it. Salute to everybody in the chat once again. Thanks for everybody for tapping in. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time, head over to the NBA Report. CP, Alex, Andrew, we're going to be tapping in. We're going to recap all four of the quarterfinal matchups from the NBA in-season tournament. Plus, get you ready for the semifinals and finals. So meet us over there at the NBA Report, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Remember that this show is available in audio podcast format. No reason to miss it. All major podcast platforms. And Need salute that. to our sponsors, man. Manscaped. You're the kid, Merrill, man. Manscaped. I told y'all, man. Promo code KFTV for 20% off plus free shipping. Also, salute to our uh, other sponsor, Bet. US, the official sports book of Knicks Fan TV, man. Hit the link in the video description for a bonus deposit match of up to 125%. Yo, is Soto gonna go to the Yankees, man? I'm, I'm hearing bro, things, bro. I'm I hearing said things. When, when they got Alex Verdugo, I said, yo, I hit the Magic Johnson, the hee hee. I said, yo, touch past that motherfucker right to San Diego for Juan, bro. We want Juan. Let's go. Let's go, Yankees, man. Time to make moves. Don't be looking like the Jets and the Knicks out here. Merrill, nah. enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy the holiday, bro. Good luck. 7 p.m. to Brooklyn will be tapped in. Thanks again. We'll see you guys yes, later, sir. man. Peace. 3 p.m. I'll see y'all in the chat. Holla.